Reggie? We need to get a move on with this Nintendo Direct. But this, this is an elevator. Yes, I have that power. You cannot escape me, Bill. Anyway, I'll get things started. See you later. But Reggie, I'm kicking off the show. Reggie! Reggie? <sighs> I, I heard nothing! Reggie! Hi everyone. Reggie here at the Nintendo of America headquarters in Redmond, Washington. You know, I'll never forget my first time playing The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. In fact, that particular Zelda title is my favorite video game of all time. And now, the long-awaited sequel to that game, The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, launches on November 22nd. And while I'm excited for Zelda fans like myself, I have to admit I'm also a little jealous of all the newcomers out there. As fans will attest, you'll never forget your first Zelda game, and this one makes a great entry point. Today, we'd like to kick things off with a brand new trailer. Have a look. Alongside that trailer, I'd also like to give you a little peek at something we're hoping Zelda fans, new and old, will cherish for many years. It's the latest model of the Nintendo 3DS XL. Now, when I first played A Link to the Past, I didn't have anything like this to play it on. Now, I'm sure you've noticed, but this Nintendo 3DS XL features a custom design. It's shiny, it's golden, and yes, it's Zelda themed. The bundle also includes a digital copy of Link's latest adventure as well. So I hope you have fun playing the game while making your own fond memories with this custom gaming system. The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds Nintendo 3DS XL bundle launches alongside the game on November 22nd. Up next is Bill with more Zelda information and some additional announcements for North America. Hi, this is Bill Trinan and it is indeed Zelda time. If that trailer and custom design Nintendo 3DS XL weren't enough to get you excited, we'll also be debuting a series of 15 second mini trailers on Nintendo's Instagram page. The first one is landing today, so follow Nintendo on Instagram to catch four Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds mini trailers as they roll out between now and launch. Next, I've got new details on some of the characters you'll meet in The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. 
If you've been keeping up with Nintendo Direct, then you may recognize Irene, the witch. But she shouldn't seem too familiar. She's a completely new character. Right from the beginning of the game, you'll notice her occasionally flying overhead. But when someone tells her that aiding someone in green will bring good fortune, she offers the hero some help in his travels. Whenever you tap this bell on the lower screen, you can pick the location you want to travel to from a list of weather vanes you've found. And voila, Irene's magical broom will show up to give Link a lift. The interesting part is Irene's broom is definitely a magic broom. Like Link, it can travel between two worlds and pick him up even when he's in Hyrule's dark doppelganger, Low Rule. The next character I want to talk about is Ceres. In addition to being the daughter of the Sanctuary's priest, she's a beautiful girl and a gentle soul. In other words, she's the perfect target for a Zelda villain. And Yuga has definitely taken notice. If you've been keeping up with the trailers, you may have even seen the sorcerer trapping poor Ceres inside a painting. That's where you come in, Link. You better get on that. Mm -hmm. And while you're at it, don't forget your Zora's flippers. Because using Link's swimming skill is the only way to properly meet today's third character. After swimming in Lake Hylia, you may find a bottle with a cryptic message about milk in it. Fans will definitely remember the milk bar from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And this time, there's a milk bar in Hyrule too. Talk to the owner, and he'll tell you that a man who disappeared into the mountains has a deep affection for premium milk. Sounds like a side quest, doesn't it? And what Zelda fan doesn't like a good side quest? Now let me introduce you to a kind elderly fellow named Gramps. Talk to this old coot, and you'll be able to engage in special battles against players you've tagged through the Street Pass feature. Here's how it works. First, you create your own Shadow Link that will be sent to others through Street Pass. The bounty on your Shadow Link's head will rise depending on the items you have equipped and how many hearts you have. After that, your Shadow Link data will be sent to anyone you tag and their data will be sent to you. Soon after, their Shadow Link will appear at certain places in your game world. You have nothing to lose and rupees to gain, so battle away. May the best Link win. The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds will launch in stores and on the Nintendo eShop on November 22nd of this year. And it won't be alone. There are two Mario games releasing on November 22nd as well, and one of them is Mario Party Island Tour for Nintendo 3DS. Mario's latest party has a whole lot of new going for it, and there are a lot of new ways to play with just one game card. Using download play, you and your friends can enjoy all seven of the new game boards, each of which plays differently and has its own unique rule set. You also only need one game card to play the 80 new mini games, all of which are designed specifically with portable play in mind. Download play also gives players access to free play mode, hot air hijinks, and a host of cool puzzles and extras. I'd love to show you everything the game has to offer, but for now, let's do like Mario and jump right into a single player mode we mentioned briefly back in April, a mini game tower. The final result is Bowser's Tower, which pits you against Bowser and his minions in 30 floors of mini game madness. Every five floors, there's a boss battle like Goomba Tower Takedown or Chain Chomp's Lava Lunge. They really raise the stakes. Now if you plan on picking up the game, don't forget to enable the Street Pass feature and take your system with you wherever you go. With Street Pass minigames, you can tag up to 10 other players and face off against their Street Pass data the next time you play the game. And like I said, with download play, four players can link up for multiplayer with just one game card. Mario Party Island Tour arrives for Nintendo 3DS on November 22nd in stores and on the Nintendo eShop. A portable game system is a great place to experience amazing stories as they come to life in interactive form in the palm of your hand. And for RPG fans, Bravely Default is one of the most exciting narrative games on the horizon. Pretty soon, fans of the genre will be battling their way through a dangerous world filled with possibilities. And today, I'd like to run you through some of the brand new features it brings to the RPG genre. First, 
the revolutionary brave and default system. With these commands, you can disrupt the flow of combat and infuse it with strategies not possible in any other RPG. Select the default option to have your character shield themselves for a whole turn. This increases their defense and builds up brave points, which can also be collected by borrowing them from a future turn. Now that you have some brave points, select brave to spend them. This allows your character to land multiple hits in the same turn, which can be devastating to your enemies. Once you have a battle strategy in place, you can increase the pace of battle with the plus control pad to defeat enemies more quickly. The Bravely Second feature allows you to freeze time. You can stop time at any point during battle to let loose a volley of attacks while time is frozen. Attacks waged when Bravely Second is activated consume sleep points rather than brave points. So leave your Nintendo 3DS system in sleep mode while Bravely Default is running to build up more sleep points and unleash devastating attacks. Customization is a big part of Bravely Default. You can customize your characters with a vast range of jobs, abilities, weapons, and spells. Find the best way to defeat tough enemies by building your own unique strategies. Bravely Default also allows you to street pass your friends in new ways. You can summon them into battle to help you out in tough situations, or they can help rebuild your hometown after it's engulfed by the Great Chasm. This is an epic adventure from Square Enix, a company that knows epic adventures. It has places to explore, quests to take, and a mystery to unravel, not to mention hours of creative combat to keep you playing. Bravely Default will arrive in stores and on the Nintendo eShop on February 7th. We would also like to announce a Bravely Default Collector's Edition for North America. This will contain the Bravely Default game, an art book, 34 AR cards, and an original soundtrack CD. Look forward to the Collector's Edition, also arriving on February 7th at select retailers. The second trilogy of Professor Layton games is coming to an end. Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy will complete the storyline that connects the two trilogies. Professor, do you really think it's possible that he's found a living mummy? It is most curious, but we'll just have to see. We shall be taking off immediately. In the game, Leighton, Luke, and Emmy must embark on a journey across the globe to solve the mystery of a hidden mummy. Along the way, they'll visit a variety of locales aboard the airship Bostonius in search of incredible artifacts from one of the world's oldest civilizations. Like Leighton's previous adventures, his latest game is a compelling blend of story and brain teasers filled with memorable characters and beautiful art. Can you and the professor solve the greatest puzzle known to man? As Leighton always says, every puzzle has an answer. Level 5's supreme craftsmanship and puzzle-making skills have come together to make the ultimate Leighton game, so I challenge you to give it a try. Professor Leighton and the Azran Legacy launches in stores and the Nintendo eShop on February 28th. Now let's talk Nintendo Zone. On October 8th, we upgraded the Street Pass Relay feature at all Nintendo Zone locations in North America. Long story short, whenever you visit a Nintendo Zone, you can now receive Street Pass Me Plaza data from the last six players to visit that location. In addition to Street Pass Relay, we'll continue distributing exclusive Spot Pass content for a variety of games at all Nintendo Zone locations. Keep an eye out for the Raccoon Clock. Cat Tower, and Rolling Suitcase from Animal Crossing, which were originally distributed only at Best Buy locations, as well as a rare Super Mario 3D Land mystery box, special Mii character distributions, and other data for various games that will only be available at Nintendo Zone locations throughout November and December. And remember to bring your Nintendo 3DS with you for when you're standing in line bargain hunting on Black Friday. Next, I have information on a Nintendo 3DS system update we're planning to release next month. 
For some time now, we've been receiving feedback from our customers who own both a Wii U and a Nintendo 3DS. These owners wish they could combine the current balances from their Wii U and Nintendo 3DS eShop accounts. And now, we can finally accommodate that request. With this system update, you can register your Nintendo Network ID on your Nintendo 3DS. This will enable you to share Nintendo eShop balance information from the Wii U registered to your Nintendo Network ID. If you register the same Nintendo Network ID on both your Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, you can purchase software on either device using a combined balance. Just remember that if you accidentally register the wrong ID or a new ID on your Nintendo 3DS, you will not be able to combine your balance. Also, after the system update has been distributed, we'll ask that you create a Nintendo Network ID to download game demos or other free software. Keep in mind that after the update, you will still be able to download paid content without logging in with your Nintendo Network ID. That way, you can continue to access and use the remaining balance already registered on your hardware without creating a new ID. Moving forward, we will continue to improve our offerings with Nintendo Network IDs. Eventually, more of our services will use them, so we hope this encourages you to create your own ID. One of those new services is Miiverse on Nintendo 3DS, which will start alongside this system update. With your Nintendo Network ID, you will be able to connect with players around the world to share your experiences and game tips through Miiverse on Nintendo 3DS. We want to make sure this benefits players who own both a Wii U and a Nintendo 3DS, as well as players who own a Nintendo 3DS only. Registration will require a few steps, but we hope you will take advantage of this opportunity and register your Nintendo Network ID on Nintendo 3DS. Here's another quick update for Nintendo 3DS owners. You will now be able to view YouTube on Nintendo 3DS. With your Nintendo 3DS, as long as you have internet access, you can easily view videos when you're on the go. You can even search for content on the bottom screen while watching a different video on the top screen. We hope the first thing you check is Nintendo's very own YouTube channel, including game trailers, event coverage, and other special features such as Nintendo Minute. We hope you're looking forward to trying out YouTube on Nintendo 3DS. Also, the YouTube application on Wii U is receiving an upgrade. This upgrade brings improvements to the interface, including being able to view videos on the Wii U gamepad or search for content on the gamepad while watching a different video on your television screen, just like the dual screen experience in the new Nintendo 3DS YouTube app. If you have a Wii U, please try out the new and improved YouTube application. Now, I have news regarding future downloadable content for the Wii U title, Pikmin 3. For this title, we have been releasing additional stages for mission mode that have players leading their Pikmin efficiently to complete as many tasks as possible within the time limit. In addition to the Collect Treasures DLC in Round 1 and Battle Enemies DLC in Round 2, we will release a third round for mission mode that contains additional stages as well. In previous releases, these extra stages were altered versions of courses that appeared in Mission Mode and Story Mode, with new placements of fruit, creatures, and traps that hopefully encourage players to think up new strategies. However, the levels included in Round 3 will be completely new stages. These range from natural environments like beaches to man-made locations like the inside of someone's house during a party, a construction site, or a mystery factory. There is even a stage in which you control Captain Olimar, who is the main character from the first two Pikmin games, and a veteran Pikmin tamer. In round three, some of the rules have changed as well. Somewhere in the stage, Olimar's subordinate Louis is hiding. If you find him and have your Pikmin taken back to the base, you will gain control of Louis. The more characters you have under control, the easier it becomes to divide your Pikmin into groups to handle multiple situations. So if you're aiming for the highest score possible, 
Louis will be a great asset to you. The third round of Pikmin 3 Mission Mode download stages includes eight stages total, four collect treasure, and four battle enemy stages. It will be released on December 2nd. The day we launch this new download content, we will also release a software update that is required to play it, so please make sure to update your software first. Upon updating your software, you will also receive one collect treasure stage and one battle enemy stage for free. Both stages take place in an environment called the Fortress of Festivity. Please make sure to update your software to enjoy them. Next, we have some new information for you about Animal Crossing Plaza, which we released back in August. As many of you already know, this Wii U software works together with Miiverse to create an Animal Crossing series community, and you can download it from the Wii U Nintendo eShop for free. There, you can comment about your favorite villagers, post screenshots of events happening in your town, and interact with other Animal Crossing players from all over the world. But we're not done yet. In order to make your interactions with other players in Animal Crossing Plaza even better, we will update the software to include two new features. The first is being able to use stamps when posting on Miiverse. These stamps are a new creative tool you can use, as you can see here, to express your feelings to other Miiverse players. In Animal Crossing Plaza, there are over 50 unique stamps based on Animal Crossing items and characters. To really get creative, you can combine multiple stamps or add hand-drawn messages to decorate posts you have already stamped. You can even erase parts of a stamp and add on your own designs. So as you can see, using stamps will make it easy to create a variety of custom-designed posts. In addition to Animal Crossing Plaza, these stamps are something we have announced for Super Mario 3D World as well. We will continue to introduce new Miiverse stamps for future titles, so please stay tuned. That reminds me, please keep in mind that these stamps can only be used when posting on Miiverse from within supporting titles, so they cannot be used freely to post from anywhere on Miiverse. Another new addition included in the update is a ranking feature. Each month we'll present a set of rankings for players to enjoy based on the results of various polls in Animal Crossing Plaza. November's themed question is, who would make the best secretary? And December's theme will be, who is the neighbor of the year? In Animal Crossing Plaza, polling will cover a variety of themes and take place every month from now until the plaza closes at the end of 2014. I hope you plan on participating. We will be adding more features to Animal Crossing Plaza as well, like resident registration. This allows you to register all of your town's residents so you can meet them in the plaza anytime you want. To make this software more enjoyable for you, the update will also affect your albums. You will soon be able to move and delete multiple pictures simultaneously and save pictures attached to Miiverse posts to your albums. Whether you've been enjoying the software already or you've never even visited Animal Crossing Plaza, I hope you consider this a good opportunity to download it and enjoy the updated features. The Animal Crossing Plaza update will be available beginning later this evening. That concludes my portion of today's Nintendo Direct, but Reggie has a few more announcements. Reggie? Thanks, Bill. It's no mystery that Nintendo loves independent game developers. There's some amazing indie games on their way to the Nintendo eShop. So many, in fact, that I don't have time to tell you about them all. So we put together a little video just to show you what's on the way. See you in a bit.
We've also got some great deals this month in the Nintendo eShop. You'll be able to save big on a select number of digital games starring some of your favorite characters. If you haven't been to nintendo.com slash eShop slash offers, stop by to see which downloadable titles are being highlighted this week. With the wealth of indie titles on the way and great deals like these, Nintendo eShop cards are a great option. And if you're looking for a holiday gift, a Nintendo eShop card can be someone's ticket to an extensive library of games for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. From AAA games to indie titles to some of the greatest games from Nintendo's past on Virtual Console. Visit nintendo.com slash gift cards to learn more and see a list of retailers where you can get yours. Now remember this, November 22nd is a huge day for Nintendo fans. Launching alongside The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, and Mario Party Island Tour on Nintendo 3DS is Super Mario 3D World on Wii U. If you're a Nintendo Direct regular, then you already know the game will bring Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Toad, and each of their special abilities to Wii U, looking better than ever in HD. And you also know that it'll be the first multiplayer Mario platformer set in a three-dimensional world. But there's still so much more to say about the game. Here are 10 more things you need to see in Super Mario 3D World. Spoiler alert, some of the following reveals are unlockable content, so you've been warned. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 